Welcome back, my melodies. Um, today, I uh, bought some some random items, um, things that are in stores lately, um, but it went on a promo hunt since last weekend on release weekend of Obsidian Flames. Uh, my GameStop didn't have the promo card and my Best Buy didn't have the promo card. So picked up a couple different things looking for the promo card today. Um, so we're gonna open up all of these items, but first and more importantly than anything, we did pick up the Umbreon GameStop promo card. So we can go ahead and I like to, I like to at least open one up. If I get any extra or ever trade for extra, I will put these together. Um, I like leaving the little insert in there, but these will definitely be uh, traded if I get any other ones, but I only got one today, but <laughs> I keep saying, but the goal was achieved. So let's go ahead and have some fun opening. Um, first of all, let's figure out what we are going to do for how we're going to compare the packs today. We are doing um, slot number four. So slot number four, category number one, which is HP. And then we are looking for the lowest HP. So now we know our target. Let's uh, let's start with the booster packs and then we can get into the, uh, into the tin that's over there. We got Dragonite and then we have Reverum artwork. Hope everyone's having a good day. A wonderful day. I know this uh, past weekend there's been some other different events, but I'm still enjoying Pokemon as much as possible. We're doing slot number four. Okay, so one, two, three, and we're doing Magnemite as our comparer. Okay, then we got Doug Trio, Houndstone, Diggers V, Snubble, Oddish, and ending on another Entei. Okay, then. Get, put, get plenty of Entes in the grand scheme of things <laughs> with Obsidian Flames. I don't know if I, if I like, I don't know. I, the variety is, is good, I think, in these, in these Scarlet and Violet sets. Um, I know some people who don't pull anything, and that I've been very fortunate to be kind of across the board. So I'll count my blessings. There are definitely some sets that uh, seem harder to pull the things that you want. I'm still on a hunt for Cleffa, the alternate art Cleffa. Um, oh, we got Red Room EX. Nice. Go ahead and sleeve that up. I'll put that in the MVP section here in a second. And there we go. And because we have a car that has entered the MVP section. We can get the party started. There you go, Blastoise is hanging out with the party. You can see the lights on behind Blastoise and all that other fun stuff. I'm trying out a new MVP section today. Um, found these slate coasters. They kind of they kind of fit pretty well, and I like I like it being dark and it doesn't reflect too bad, um, and it gives a nice little sheen to the MVP. Let me know what you think down below about the new MVP section. Um, and it keeps uh, keeps a little bit of the theme going since, you know, you get unlimited drinks and Slurpees in the uh, MVP section. Mark's valuable Pokemon card section will always have as many Slurpees as we can produce for everybody. <laughs> uh, I like ice treats. That's definitely something that I've learned um, about myself over time. There's a great place here in Anderson, Indiana. Um, there's also one in Pendleton. There's also, um, I guess there's two in Anderson. But, um, oh, got a beautiful illustration rare Poppy. And then we're ending on a scissor there. So let's go ahead and sleeve up Poppy. So the ice place that I was talking about is a place called Snow Castle. It has, when I tell you they, they shave the ice perfectly, they have homemade syrups that are just, just perfect. Um, they're pretty much everything I've tried has been, has been excellent um, and pretty accurate for the flavor that they're trying to go for. But everyone loves it. I really enjoy it. Of course, it's only during the warm months since the the whole business has kind of run out of little huts 
So um, the colder months of the year don't make sense to run ice, um, ice little kiosks or whatever. Um, oh, we got two different limits <laughs> right off the bat in that one. That's funny. Um, and then a Tomokazu Lechonk. But yeah, so going to have to enjoy the snow castle while it's still around. And then, of course, every time the season comes around, I'm always excited to, uh, to get snow castle again. This year, so I, traditionally, like I'm a strawberry daiquiri type of person. Like I like the strawberry flavor. I like the, the lime addition with the daiquiri idea. Um, but I've been doing half orange and half strawberry daiquiri. And the added citrus is what I really like. Now I know that's not for everybody. What are your uh, what are your favorite like snow cone flavors or icy flavors or slurpy flavors? Let me know down below because I think I like anything and everything, and I'm always looking for new new flavors to try. I really do like citrus flavors. Um, I do like the fruits and berries. Um, Frutasia is always good, like Tiger's Blood, some of those others, traditional snow castle um, or snow based um, flavors, always good stuff. Okay, let me see if I can get into this plastic with my, my trusty tool. Well, let's get into here. So yeah, those, those random packs were pretty good pickup. Um, like I said, I was just I was out hunting for the Umbreon. I did uh, I did go to Best Buy and could not find the uh, River Room. The uh, I think the person behind the counter didn't understand what I was asking for originally, <laughs> and then then I was like, uh, can, can I look around with you? But um, yeah, did not find it. So I'm still on the hunt for the, the Best Buy one. Now these I know are not actual promo cards, as you can see in the bottom. It doesn't actually have the promo um, stamp on them, but these are from the Paldea Evolved set and they are hollow, which I don't think you can get a reverse hollow, but so for the collectors of the world. And then of course we have a nice um, fun little Coridon pin, pin, coin as part of this set. Let's see if we can get these out without having the plastic bin them too bad. Oh, and there's the code card for the 10. I don't think I'm gonna be doing the collector's chest online for that. And I actually, I've been falling out of playing online lately. I don't know, I don't know why, but just have, oh, I should probably keep those separate. We're gonna keep those over there. And then we have the packs that are in this set. I think there's three and three. Um, we'll check out what those are in a second. And then we have the rest of the goodies of the 10. We got um, stickers and a little binder. And then of course, it's a little lunchbox. So you can keep a lot of these accessories still in here. Um, oh, that's a fun little pattern. I like that. I wonder if there's uh, stickers for it. Oh yeah, there you go. There's the pattern and the stickers. Now I think the, it's not the whole thing. Yeah, you can get the uh, characters out of there, but I kind of like the background of that as well. <laughs> we got some Coridon, Maridon, Sprigatito, and there's our Fukoko and Quaxley. And then of course, back around. The, uh, for me, the stickers are always like, you know, where it's such a permanent thing when you use a sticker. Um, I've been trying to find new ways, new places to use or save stickers. And I love the little sticker books that are coming out lately. There's, um, I guess it's a special type of um, sheet that allows you to put a sticker on there, but then like it won't take all the adhesive off of the sticker. So you get, uh, you get to reuse them or put them in different types of journals. So I have a little sticker booklet <laughs> that I'm trying to put stuff in. Maybe maybe one of these days I will uh, run through and show you my various stickers that I picked up. Not all Pokemon, uh, definitely across the years, it's different, uh, different items, different um, fandoms, different games, because I'm definitely uh, a big gamer. So 
have a lot of different items. Ooh, Reverse Whale Lord. That would be fun to put into a deck. And then a Zygarde. My Whale Lord deck is definitely just doing better than what it was when they when the cards rotated. Those were those were that deck took a hard hit when we got rid of um, like Capacious Bucket and then the um, I'm blanking on it. What is it? Frost Moth. There you go. Frost Moth with the Energy Acceleration definitely hurt for a bit, but now we have Vax Caliber in the game. So Whale Lord's been been playing Whale Lord at league lately. Oh, we got Radiant Jirachi. Definitely played that one. Played that in a deck once upon a time. And another Whale Lord there. Jirachi I love is the, um, just for the, the draw support. So, you know, if it gets, if it gets knocked out, um, you can see that you can look up for, look up to three cards, put them into your hand. Definitely a good recovery card. And then the Astral Misfortune is what I like. The uh, flip two coins or roll two dice. And then uh, you never know if you're going to be able to knock out a Pokemon that might be way overpowered type of thing. So that's been fun. Um, I just had another thought and I can't remember where we were going with it. So we're going to, I'm going to ignore that thought. I've been thinking about what talking about something okay well there's my my brain for you a little bit of behind the scenes my brain just decided to shut off and not remember what i was going to say got the jirachi oh we got a spydops ex i know there's a number of players who are using the spydops ex um style deck i actually saw a couple of those at um at gen con running different raids so you can add a retreat cost um a couple of the raid bosses that i did end up running had um had two or three retreat costs so it helped with uh, people running those decks <laughs> we're able to do some good damage so that was always fun been wanting to do more raids at league as well so if you come on out and you want to do a raid battle i think i think it's such a fun format um being able to be cooperative in the game is definitely something that's rarer. So, ooh, Flabebe with a 40, and we're looking for the lowest HP. Looks like Flabebe might be the, the winner. This is one of the 10 packs, right? Yeah, got Toxtricity, King Gambit, Wugtrio, and Meowskarada. So, looks like one of the Scarlet and Violet packs might take home the win. I don't think there's another... I don't know. I guess Obsidian Flames, but we're not doing more Obsidian Flame. We already opened up the Obsidian Flames. Because I think the the Bonsley, and then what are the other ones? A Cleffa. That's right. Duh. There's my chase card that I've been <laughs> trying to search for. So yeah, I'm going to be trying to uh, find the alternate art Cleffa um, of Obsidian Flames. So tune back in. I think I've got, um, I got another ETB. I got some more booster boxes and packs to go through trying to find that elusive Cleffa alternate art, um, or at least pull something that is of value so that I can try and trade at League Night. I think um, I think one of our friends, <laughs> our, our mutual friends, um, pulled a couple extra, so it might be in his binder during trade night. That would be, uh, that would be fun to do. Hopefully I can uh, maybe reach out and try and reserve it, but... <laughs> Worst case, I will have to trade it from somebody else. And we got Char Cadet for the last one. So Flabebe is certainly winning the compare card because I don't think there is anything else. Yeah, so Flabebe. See, look, this is why I like doing the uh, the compare card categories is you get you get silly Pokemon like that that end up winning. <laughs> Boot the pack battle. So I'm just having fun. Hopefully you are too. I appreciate you guys watching. And hanging out we're gonna end on a spirit tomb so nothing too fancy but had a pretty decent day for pulls we got the umbreon um game stops promo that is the that was the goal for this video of the products that i picked up got full alternate um, poppy radiant jirachi spy ops and rever room so i think a couple additions to the the trade binder and then a couple additions to the the actual collection so 
Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for hitting that subscribe and that bell and all that other good stuff that helps out the channel. And in the end, a little music goes a long way.